if you can prove that this link and this hadith is false, I will make an admin. And how we can do that? Very easy. You see the banner? You see the banner in the top, in the top, in the top? Huh? It says salafipublication.com. Do you see it, guys? In the top of the banner, do you see it? salafipublication.com. This is the one who owned the site. You can click at Salafi. They are the Salafi. They are the Wahhabis. They are the people of Uzama bin Laden, brother. You're my Haki. And please, everybody in the room, guys, you know, put yourself in a Muslim panties, uh, Muslim shoes. It's not easy. Imagine you are now Following a prophet, he kissed boys when the Arab don't do that. And even the better when he is upset and he is mad. Even the better when man saying to them, you guys kiss boys. Boys, yuck. We don't do that. Yuck. Come on, guys. Arab don't say yuck. We say shit. We don't do that. Hakim. You're mine. And this is the hadith again. Well, if your hadith is a true, you are saying, then in the mosque or in the Muslim society, you would have been like a church. In the church, I can get you some... You know, in the church, if anyone do something bad, he will go to hell. We are in here talking about the prophet of God. There is filthy people who do filth, they will go to hell. Is that true, is that true guys? That's what the Bible says. It doesn't matter if you claim to, claim to be priest or a minister or a church, church guy or maybe even Jesus, he said, listen to them, but don't do what they do because they say something, they do something else. Christ said, not everyone said to me, Lord, Lord, which means God, God, and the Muslims, they ask you, where Jesus? He said, I is God. He just said that. Not everyone said to me, God, God, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. Which means, if you don't follow his teaching, you will not go to heaven. So those people you are talking about, they will be with your prophet. Peace upon him. Because he's kissing boys. You are mine. Well, you escape of me. You like to talk with naive Muslims to laugh on Muslims, right? Why? I challenge you to talk. Okay, okay, okay. Hakim, Ifran saying that you are a naive Muslim. Ifran, tell us, why you think Hakim is a naive Muslim? Explain to us, please, your mind. Because it's easy for you to laugh on him, but you, it's difficult for you to laugh on me. Okay? Try. I challenge you to try. So why you don't answer? Okay, guys, Hakim, Hakim, did you hear him? This is your brother, he's a Muslim, he's accusing me that accusing you that you are naive, and this is why I'm slapping your face. With the fact I'm not slapping your face, I'm kicking your ass. And I will show everybody that I can kick ass of everybody. If run, I will give you the same question. This is the hadith, your prophet kissing boys. Why he's kissing boys, you're mine? Uh, I told you this hadith is wrong, okay? And you tried... No, you don't tell me. You just told me this. Prove it. Prove that this hadith is wrong. You're mine. Okay, because nothing in Quran told us to believe in that hadith or to the people. Nothing in the Quran told you to believe in this hadith. <laughs> you know what? Show me one verse in the Quran telling you to believe in any hadith. You're mine. Uh, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Hello, 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 hello. It's my turn. Don't miss. Listen, it's your room, and if you stop uh, being jumping, then what are we going to do, Mike? Then we have to go and just open another room against you. Okay? So behave, Christian Prince. You will never dialogue, have a nice dialogue. My brother says, yes, uh, I have less knowledge, Naeem. Yeah, it's okay, I admit that. Okay, fine, that's no problem with me. Okay, my brother got the more knowledge, fair enough. 
maybe we can together open another room against we would say the room uh, christian prince is a liar kahi come and uh, face us okay listen what you are saying is not in the hadith i can make within a couple hours a link okay and so all put all the wrong things against christianity etc you got me christian prince can you hear me answer you i hear you i hear you haki i hear you brother you're very friendly. honestly you're very smart uh, by the way you can open 10 rooms call them christian prince is a liar and this is what i want because i want muslims to know about me so they can come over by your help i'm very famous now haki listen to me carefully i want to give you something from the quran forget about the hadith and by the way he is the one who mentioned gays not me it is him who mentioned gays. Did, did I mention gays? He did. He did say gays. Why? If if you cannot if you cannot stand for it, why you mention it? So come on, you know. Next time, don't do that. You know, you are when, when you are in the presence of Christian prince, you have to be careful because he's very very you know, like come on. He trick people. He's very tricky. You know. Now, what the Quran says about gays? What the Quran, listen to the question. What the Quran says about gays. I want you to give me the reference, please. Your mind. Gay is commonly, okay? And they're going to go in hell. And that's why all the Christian practicing. So why the Quran doesn't say that he will go to hell? Guys, the Bible say clearly that gays, they will go to hell. Is that true? Is that true? Now, show me a verse in the Quran saying gays will go to hell. I challenge you. You mind. Listen, I'm not going to open the Quran now and search for it. And you can search for it. I know the Quran. I can help you, brother. I can help you. It's in the Quran. Trust me. Honestly, it's in the Quran. Do you want me to show it to you? You're mine. Why you prefer to talk with him and not with me? Why? I'm who I'm here with you before him. Tell me why. Because he's more cute. He's a boy. And the prophet told us to kiss boys. What's wrong with you? Are you jealous? Are you jealous? Now chapter 4 verse 16 says, If two men they are gays, what do you do to them? What do you do to them? وَالَّذَانِ يَأْتِينَ هَا مِنْكُمْ فَآذُوهُمَا فَإِنْ تَابَا وَأَصَلَحَا فَأَعْرِضُ عَنْهُمَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ تَوَّابًا رَحِيمًا If you see two gays, huh? You come to them, you say, shame on you. You should not be a gay. This is what the Islam says. Read the Quran. Where is they will go to hell? And where is, where, where? Show me your mind. First, you break our agreement. We agreed to not read that me at least in 60 seconds. Okay, and I start debate with you and you escape every time. Anyway, I wish, I wish hardly to have uh, equitable dialogue with you, okay? Uh, about your question, so we will change, we will talk about gays. The verse is clearly, it condemns adultery between gays, okay? And he's, uh, the, the, the verse it said, if they repent, so leave them, leave them in peace, okay? So that's the, uh, that answers your question, take the mic. And brother Hakim, let me talk to him to see him confused. He uses you to laugh on Muslims. Look, look how, how he will be confused with me. Look, look at him, okay? What is the mic? What is the mic? I'm very confused. Where is the mic? I cannot even see the mic. Where is the mic? This is my speaker. No, this is this is my camera. Where is the mic? Okay, I got the mic. Sorry. If run, you said and everybody heard you in the room that if they repent, let them go. 